Hi, I'm Kevin Talpa. Welcome to Bow First Archery. I'm going to show you today is the new Archer Bow Press. It's a new concept in bow press design that will press all bows and crossbows, including um, complete takedown. The Archer is an inline design that um, basically eliminates all your multiple adjusting steps, or not all the multiple adjusting steps, but majority of, of the adjusting steps that uh, a lot of presses have. Uh, what the Archer has is basically self-adjust with the turn of the handle. Um, we also made it with um, three different ways to press your bows. Um, you, you can either do the limb end, uh, your limb tip, or you could use the rollers. Let me demonstrate. We'll take this in here and uh, I'm just going to lay this ball right down between the, uh, the forks of the adapter here. I'll turn the handle and let it drop right down in. Then I'll come around and on uh, these adapters are micro adjusting and I'll be able to adjust with uh, turning this fork in to uh, narrow it up for the style ball. Come over here and narrow this, this one up here. And I like to use uh, the limb end adapters on this bow here because on this bow here um, the manufacturer has a uh, hardware that's near the limb tip and with this way I won't have to remove any of that hardware I'll just be able to uh, press this bow fairly uh, close to the limb tips um, but still avoiding this hardware here I can actually get a little bit closer than that to this hardware installed on there and what we have, we also um, incorporated into this is uh, a strapping system. Now, a strapping system is uh, the soft nylon strap that we use that will uh, hold down the bow that you strap over the riser. And you can just adjust it um, back and forth uh, wherever, pretty much try to adjust it near the end of the riser. And just take the slack off of that. Do the same on the other side. And with uh, basically just turn the handle, press it. And there we go. That's pressed on this bow. Now if we take this bow out, and we, uh, we try another way to press this bow. Take this bow up for a sec. Take these interchangeable adapters out. I'll replace this with a roller. Take the same bow, lay it in there, just adjust it a couple turns, strap it down again. And there's that bow with the rollers. I still like to use the rollers on uh, a lot of bows. Uh, the majority of bows on the market today, uh, you can use the rollers on. Um, 
except for those extreme parallel limb bows, of course, you'll have to use the adapters. Um, but what's nice about the rollers, it gives you accessibility um, to working on the cams. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a, there's no adjusting the forks back and forth, and it's a little quicker. Um, and the majority of your bows, you can use rollers. So that's why I like the rollers. Well, we'll take this bow out. Take this bow and I'll grab another style bow. This is fairly a, a parallel limb bow here. Um, and I'll grab a more traditional flatter type bow. Here's an older style. And just to adjust this one, all I do is turn the handle again. I, I bring it down close to the cams with the archer. It's designed so you can um, come, if not touching the cams, but fairly close to the cams. It won't pull down through the rollers to hit your cams, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'll get this one close here. We'll do the same thing on this bow. Strap her down, and bring her pretty much near the end of the riser. And with this inline design, what's nice is that you're not getting any sideways torque on your bow. This inline design is pulling everything perfectly straight on your bow. There's actually no twisting on this riser. Um, you're not going to have any problems with twisting risers because of the inline design. I'll press this bow here. It's that simple. Okay, we'll go to the next part. Take this bow out of here. Now I'm going to show you is the uh, showed you the limb and the rollers, and I'm going to show you the limb tip. Uh, way that we can use this bow press with. Put the roller in here, and, uh, and all I do is on these dual adapters, is uh, you can slide the top portion out and just flip it around. around and then we'll just lock it in here. Now we're going to turn it over to the limb tip. There's some bows on the market that um, you can't use a limb and uh, compression you can't use the roller on you pretty much uh, they have a short you know the short risers I mean the short uh, limbs uh, to, to where um, from the cam to where the riser hits and there just isn't enough limb there to press on the limb and you'll have to press on the limb tip so that's why um, you also have to have the limb tip compression uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to grab up this bow uh, this other bow that has a wider limb. So I'm going to take and open up the adjustment on these forks. Flip this over. Now what I could do, because there's lefts and rights on these adapters, is um, I could put this adapter over on this side and uh, that way I can adjust it facing me if I want. But it really doesn't matter. You can adjust it on the back side. So I'm not going to flip them around right now. I'll just leave it like this. Now, on limb tip um, compression, you really don't need to use the straps. Uh, you might be able to, you could probably put them on there for if you want. It doesn't really, it won't really pull the bow off these adapters putting the straps on, but uh, you don't need to use them, so 